it. Absolutely awesome. Shame, he's got a very nasty limb. Okay, we're just going to reposition slightly. Oh, Bushbuck just saw him. There's a deep barking sound. That's what's attracted his attention. Mid um, squat. Hi, boy. You were such a nice surprise. Okay, going into the drainage system. Oh, I don't have my box with me, so I don't have my leopard scat collecting vial. But that's okay, we know exactly where it is, so we can come back and grab it at a later stage. Because we do collect the leopard scat in order to get a DNA result from each individual leopard. Everything's alarm calling here now. He's about to make life very tricky as he goes through here. Oh, unhappy Franklin's chirping from the cisticulars. That's why it's so important to listen to the sounds of the bush. Mm. It's his front right, I think. Tingana had a limp the last time I saw him, but it was not as uncomfortable looking as this is now. And he is looking quite hungry as well. Before anybody gets too stressed out about So Shamel, you were asking about Tingana having a limp and whether or not this was him. I think it's him and he did have a limp, you're right. But it seems to have got worse since I last saw him. Still not enough to harm his hunting abilities. Stations, if anyone can copy me, I've got one Madura Ingwe now mobile west from Red Dam towards the pump house. We're on Wendy. I think we're going to lose our signal as we go through here. Oh no, um, what to do? What to do? He is marking his territory. It's definitely Tingana, by the way. Hello, boy. And we never knew what caused that injury to Tingana's foot or to his leg. We don't know whether it's foot-based or leg-based. He did have a cut there when he was mating with Tundi. And that was months ago. That was obviously more than three months ago because she's since had cubs. Urine scent marking, so spraying his urine, making sure every leopard in this area knows that he is around and about. I still can't believe that happened. <laughs> Sitting there at a dam. He's right here. For now, Tingana is doing, being incredibly kind to us and taking us on a road. Okay, let me just reposition quickly. That leads us through a drainage line. Yay, Tingana, after so long. I f it feels like forever since I last saw him. You can hear all of the cisticulars going crazy. Oh, this is the way that a truly wonderful afternoon goes. Just we always talk about how we never plan anything. This is exactly why. Oh no, don't go up that way. Oh no. Oh dear. That's not good. I was hoping he would stick in the drainage line, but he is now going off the road and up into an area that, no matter one's driving skill, it's going to be incredibly tricky to stay with him. I can still see him.
he stopped there to send Mark. No, no, go right. The other right. That's not right. Oh dear. Mm, oh wait, hold on. He's sitting up. down. Oh. Yeah. He's sitting down. Oh. Okay. Let's try and get a view of him from here. Perhaps we will be able to get the vehicle up. Oof. Here he is, sitting surveying the bush around him. 